Okay, good evening, everyone. I don't think I should introduce myself. I think you all know me by now. <laughs> so let's go down with the game. Right, tonight we're going to talk about um, competing against no Trump. Now, it's really important that we do compete against no Trump. To pass one no Trump with distributional hands is really a crime because you're letting everybody have such an easy time. And sometimes even if you come in the bidding and you go down one, they can make one or two no Trump, you're going to get a good score. So we need to get into the action. And what allows us to get into the action? There are various conventions. There's a don't, disturb opponents, no Trump, which uh, you bid the lowest of your two suits to say I have that suit and a higher one. Or you can play Capaletti, which we're going to discuss tonight, and that's what we're going to talk about. There's Brazil with centers around the heart suit. There are so many different ones. But I'm going to give you a guideline later of when to come in over no Trump. And that's my little rule of eight. And maybe Lynn will put it on the website for you or put it on the uh, chat for you. I just put it but, in chat. Oh, good. Okay, but we'll talk about that. So um, we're going to start on hand number one. And... Um, we really need to get in the bidding. We're not letting people have an easy time. So I'm going to share the screen with you. And it's going to be hand number one. Okay. Right. Everyone can see we're sharing. No, it's still loading. I'm just waiting for it to stop loading. Okay, you can see it now, everyone? Yes. Right. Okay, North opens the bidding, one no Trump. Now, looking at the hand, the next one to bid, you have 14 points. We don't double one no Trump with 14 points. We don't double one no Trump with 15 points. If you have a flat hand... I don't double even with 20 points. To double one no trump for a penalty, because there are no takeout doubles over one no trump, you need to have a long suit to run. And we don't have a long suit to run. But we do have the majors. Now, there are many different uh, conventions that will cope with the majors. And one of these here, are, uh, the one we're going to discuss today, is called Capaletti where we would come in the bidding with two ha uh, two diamonds. Two diamonds is a convention, and it says to partner, I have the majors. I'm either 5-5 five, five or 5-4. Five, but you don't know which is the five-card suit. It's not always 5-5. Five, five, but you're coming in for one reason. You've got shape. You've got some points. How many points do you need to come in the bidding? I will discuss that with you in a moment. Pass by South. And you have a marked preference, West, to come in with two hearts. You like hearts. And it's going to go pass, pass, pass. Now, if you leave the North Hand to play in one no trump, they will very much likely make one no trump. Everything depends on the lead, and they may make one no trump. But let's look at the hand from the point of view that we're playing in an eight-card major suit fit. When you're holding length in the other suit, which is north, you know for sure that they're going to be short in the spade suit. So it is mandatory to lead a trump to stop them from roughing spades. So the correct lead on this hand, knowing that the hand that bid two hearts is short in the other suit, you lead the ace of hearts. That is why you would lead it. The other reason is that the king of hearts is bound to be in the east hand. So it's not going to matter. Ace of hearts. 
Let's look at the losers, everybody. We're playing in an eight card fit. We have a singleton spade opposite an ace. We would like to trump all our baby spades with those little hearts. But that trump lead has done us a lot of harm. If they didn't lead a trump, I think we'd come home with a lot more tricks. So this is how the play is going to go on the ace of hearts lead. Ace of hearts, little heart, little heart. And the next lead should be the queen of hearts. Make sure you draw the trumps, everybody. Now you need to rough those spades. You need to use those two little trumps to rough the spades. Ace of spades. Linda? Yes? Okay, I thought that uh, you played the ace and the king from the north side. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Rough a spade. Now we need a taxi back to that dummy to rough another spade. We don't want them drawing all our trumps. So we'll take a little diamond. To the ace. And we're going to rough another spade. We want to use our little trump separately. Now you want to rough clubs, right? Little club. Little club. King of clubs. Little club back. I think I should have done the clubs first, then I'd be able to use the Ten of Hearts. I'm not going to put up the queen because if they had the king, they would have played it. And now I'm finished. They're going to draw my last trump. But I made my eight tricks and that's what counts. But we can make an extra one. And the rest are yours. I have, a, I have the opportunity to make another one. I should have done the clubs first. And then I could have used my ten of hearts and made three. A trump lead is really devastating. They showed the majors. We can make three if I do the clubs before the diamonds. Are there any questions on this hand? Coming in the bidding. Anybody? Can you finish explaining the Capaletti? And, uh, you should, I'll explain you should, what Capaletti is. You, you said two clubs and two diamonds, but the, and, and I, 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 one, one no trump and two, two di diamonds shows the majors. It's in the chat. Two clubs, two clubs, okay, shows a six card suit, any six card suit. Oh. Partner has to bid two diamonds to hear which the suit is. Two hearts, we're going to do the next one, shows hearts and a minor. And this is what's coming up now. I guess two uh, spades it's part of my... <laughs> shows spades and a minor. What did you want to know? I'm listening. Okay. Tell me. Um, they had, of course, had ace, queen, jack. Don't you normally only if you if you open with the ace, you promise the king? <clears throat> no, no, no. This is a defensive hand. Because it's trumps, you don't promise the king. Okay. 
It's a trump suit. You're trying to stop them roughing spades. You've got long spades. Very long spades. Okay, here's a situation where the West opens one no trump. And now North has got two suits. We don't want to pass this hand. Two clubs would show a six-card suit, any six-card suit. But on this hand, we would bid two spades. Two spades says, I have a five-card spade suit, and I have an undisclosed minor. It doesn't have to be five. It can be four. It can be five spades and four diamonds. It can be five spades and four clubs. It's going to go past by east. And now you have the minors. And you don't like spades because you've got a singleton. So you will bid two no trump. And that says to partner, please, can you give me your minor? I don't like spades. It asks partner for the minor. And then you bid three diamonds. You could bid three diamonds on a four-card suit. But you don't like spades with a singleton. And the bidding will die at three diamonds. That is Capaletti. I'm going to discuss with you after we've done the next hand of when we should come in and why. So here's a contract of three diamonds. And they have to make some kind of a lead. Well, they're showing spades and diamonds. We cannot lead aces from spaces. So we've got no alternative on this hand but to lead mud. Middle, up, down in hearts. The five of hearts. If you lead the nine, you're showing a double tip. It goes five of hearts. Please put up the jack. You must split the honors. And they win the lowest one of touching cards. Now they're not sure whether their partner's got a doubleton or not. So they play the ace of hearts. And now partner plays the nine. Middle and then the one higher up. Now they will never play hearts again. Why? Because they know their partner has one more heart. And what should they come back? You know they're going to want to trump spades. You should come back a trump because there's a singleton spade in the dummy. So they come back a diamond. Ten of diamonds. Queen of diamonds. And they win the ace of diamonds. Now you really want to finesse the spade. Why do you want to finesse a singleton? Because the hand that opened a no trump usually has the king. So let's play the queen of spades. They're not going to cover with a singleton in dummy. <laughs> Never, right? They're going to duck it. Ooh. And they're going to make it. Now they've got to work out how to rough these spades and how to get rid of that spade. I don't know if they're very scared to do that, but they don't know for sure where the jack of diamonds is. We don't want to play a club because then they'll come another trump. We can play a heart and rough a heart. So let's try that. We'll play the ace of spades. And you know where the king is. Now you'll play the jack of spades and hope the king comes down and you trumpet and now the king came down now your spades are good well now you don't have to rough any hearts because you know that they've got no hearts on, on in the east hand you've got you've got the opportunity of taking a finesse in the diamond you must play for split on it if the queen of diamonds is one, play the jack and the other. It costs you absolutely nothing. That is 75% that the honors are split. Let's try. 
and it worked. And if it didn't work, it didn't matter. Because whenever they come back, you're in easy street. Now you play the king of diamonds and you'll get rid of the last diamond. And now you will give them the five of clubs. Your, your ten of spades is good and you're going to make ten tricks. The ten of spades is good. The seven is good. And you'll play the eight of diamonds and you're going to make ten tricks. That's because we never left them in one no trap. If you pass one no trap, we'll look at it from that point of view. Okay? Let's look at one no trump, everybody. What are they going to lead? They must probably lead a spade or a diamond. We don't know. Most probably a spade. So you're going to make three hard tricks and one spade is four. Two clubs are six. And you may come to an extra trick in the diamond and make one no trump. But you made ten tricks because you had great shape. Shape is everything in this game when you want to come in over one no trump. You need at least nine cards with your values in the two suits. You must have your values in the two suits. It does not have to be far, far. It could be five spades and four diamonds. But what I like about Capaletti is that when you bid spades or hearts, that suit is a five card suit. If you play uh, don't, you don't know which is the five card suit. You don't. You have no idea. If you bid two diamonds, you know it's diamonds and a higher, but you have no idea whether it's hearts, whether it's spades. So I'm not in favor of that convention. I'm being 100% honest with you. But this convention's a little bit better. Any question? Yes, Nancy. Yes, please. Um, I don't understand how North can bid do an overcall with so few points. Because you've got shape. I've always said that points are not that important in this game. It's always shape. You hope partner can help you. You can't sit back and pass. This is a bidder's game. As long as your points are in the two suits. So okay. let me give you a word. Okay, I, I want to listen to the questions and then I'm going to go on to what I want to teach. Yes. Barbara, did I answer your question? Your yes, thank you. Up. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Sherry. So... Uh you still have to know what don't is in case your opponents use it. The opponents use don't. Disturb opponents, no trump. It's a system where you bid the lower suit and it promises a higher suit. But you have to know that in case your opponents use that. Yeah, um, before you sit down and play, you ask, what do you play against no trump? And by right. the way, these... You cannot sit down and play without discussing what your defense is. All these bids need to be alerted because Everything. they're artificial. So you can right. ask them while in the middle of the game. Okay. But if you don't intend to bid, don't ask questions. You're only helping the partners to know what they're telling each other. That's another problem. Never ask questions if you don't intend to bid. Wait till the auction's over. Because they can describe something that you had no idea about. Now you're get a little bit more information that you're letting them have. So unless you intend bidding, you shouldn't ask any questions. So let me talk to you about what I want to teach you tonight. There's a lot I want to teach you tonight, but I don't know if I'm allowed to, but I will tell you. The first thing I want to talk to you about is you asked me a question, and it's really important that you ask me that, why did we come in with so few points? Well, I'm going to teach you something, and all of you know what a losing trick is, losers. You're going to count the losers in this hand, in the north hand. In the diamond suit, you have two diamond losers, the ace and the queen. All right? In the spade suit, you've got two spade losers, the king and the queen. 
That's four. In the heart suit, you've got two. Is seven. Six. And you've got one club is seven. You have seven losers on this hand. You add up the length of your two suits, which is 10. Five diamonds and five spades is 10. You subtract that from the number of losers, which was seven. If it adds up to two or more, you bet. If it doesn't, you don't bet. So if you have a hand, and I'm just going to type it at the bottom just to reiterate, which is one of the shapes that I don't like in bridge. If you hold a hand like this, I'm just giving you an example, okay? Okay, I'm going to put it up here underneath. You've got nine high card points. You have a five, three, three, two shape. I know you'd like to bid hearts, but does this fall in line with what I'm teaching you tonight? No. Why? Let's count the losers together. In the club suit, we have three. In the diamonds, we have two, the ace and the queen. That's five. In the hearts, we have two is seven. And in the spade suit, we have one is eight. The length of my two longer suits are five and three is eight. So you take eight, you subtract it from seven, and it gives you one. That means you can't come in the bidding. If you had shape, and that's what I'm teaching you, if you have shape and you five four, you can do it, or five, five, but don't come in on a five, three, three, two. And that's what uh, Lynn may, may have posted for you in the chat. It's called the rule of eight. It's a guideline. Do I come in the auction or don't I? But you need a minimum of six high card points. You could have king five times spades. You could have... Uh, one little heart. You can have king five times diamonds and two little clubs. You've got six high card points. Your points are in the two suits. Add up the length of the two suits. Ten. Subtracted from the number of losers. Let's do it together. We're missing the ace, queen of spades. That's two losers. We're missing one heart. That's three. We're missing... The ace queen of diamonds is five. And we're missing two clubs is seven. So you take 10 minus seven and it gives you three. Now you can come in the bidding. Forget about points, everybody. And that's my little guideline for tonight. It's called the rule of eight. Now you know what to do. Yes, Katie. When you're counting the, the losers, like on the, the diamonds, you have the king, seven, six, five, four. Um, why wouldn't you, you don't have the jack? Uh, why? So why is it? You on never your... count jacks. You only count missing aces, kings, and queens. Hmm. Okay. Where does the when we use the losing trick count, we never use jacks. We always count missing aces, kings, and queens. And I want you to know that queen three times is three losers, everybody. That's very important. Queen, little, little is three losers. It's got no backing. Queen, jack, and one would be two. Queen, ten, and one, maybe two and a half. But this is just my little guideline for you to come in the bidding. To pass one no trump is a crime because they're going to make one no trump on defense. And here yeah, you can do so well. So this is why we're competing against no trump tonight. And I love answering more questions. Yes, Gail. Why is it called the rule of eight? Where's the eight? Okay. I would like to know that myself. Okay. <laughs> I would like to know that myself. But that is what I've read and what I've learned. I always thought to myself, why is it the rule of eight? I don't know. I just think to myself, why? I don't know. Okay. 
Okay. I'll tell you why. Let's work it out. If you've got eight cards, okay, and you subtract them from the losers, it's never going to work, is it? Are you wearing a But if you've got nine cards, it may work. So that's why I think it's the rule of eight, okay? Five minutes. Who's talking? Okay. Right. Is Gail's hand is still up. Gail, are oh, you wanting sorry. to know more? No, I'm good. Okay, Maud. Yes, Maud. Okay. I just want, if it's possible for you, with the the board number four that we have, can you re-explain, please, the rule of eight? Because you said eight minus seven is one. Equal one. Okay. Can you explain it again? Because I want to be sure that I understand. Okay. Sure. All right. So this is what it is. Okay. You've got ace, queen, seven, six, five. You've got one heart. Uh, two hearts, you've got king and two baby diamonds, and you've got three baby clubs. This is your shape. Five and three are the two longest suits. That is eight, okay? You add the length of the two longest suits. Five and three is eight. You get it, Maud? Yes, five thank you. spades and three diamonds are eight. You add up the length of the two longer suits, okay. and it gives you eight. Okay. Now you count your losers. In the spade suit, you have one, the king. In the heart suit, you've got two. That makes three losers. In the diamond suit, you've got two, the ace and the queen. That makes five. I think I've got it wrong. One and two is three and two is five and three is eight. Right. You've got eight losers. Are we it doesn't Are we work. Looking at the we're not looking at the hand there. We're looking below. Are you looking oh. below at my table? I've got a table underneath. Can you see, Claude? I've got a table underneath. Yes, we see it. It's got to add up to two or more, and it doesn't add up at all. So, therefore, you don't come in the bidding. You add up the length of the two longer suits, even if it was nine and you had all these losers. But it all depends on the shape. Everything is shape in this game, and I've told you many, many times. I make many games without points, but shape. Does that make it clearer to you? Anybody else? And you have to have two or more to, to bid? Correct. After you subtract from the length of your two longer suits, it must be two or more. If it's one or less, you cannot bid. Okay? So... If to simplify it, if you don't use the rule of eight, but you're highly uh, shapely and you have um, six high card points um, or more in those good suits. Then do it. You don't have to use anything. I'm yeah, just giving it, you it a almost guideline. It seems like it's the, the more um, the length you have in those two suits, the better the chances are it'll be successful. Exactly. And it doesn't matter if you go one down. Okay. I'm loading the next hand for you. It's just a guideline. That's all it is. But I haven't told you what I like to play and why. All right. East opens one no trump. Now you have a six card suit. It's a shame not to bid it. But you can't bid two diamonds because two diamonds is the majors. So Capaletti says that you should bid two clubs. Two clubs says, I have a six card suit. But now the West Hand was going to bid two clubs anyway. Remember Stamen? Mm -hmm. We Stamen on that hand. 
when we've got two four card or one four card major and, and eight or more points. So you were double. They took your bid away. I was going to bid two clubs, partner. A double of two clubs is always stamen, everybody. A double of two clubs is always stamen. They took my bid away. And it's going to go past by north. Two hearts by east. Now you're not meant to come in the bidding. We dive in, we dive out, we never bid again. The whole purpose of playing and competing against no trump is to mess them up. Don't mess yourself up and go to a three level. Just get in at the bottom and you're done. Now it's going to go past. And it's going to go four hearts. And now they find their contract. Now I will tell you what I like. But it's it's what I like. You can play it. It's not illegal what I want to do. I like to bid when I have a six card suit in the minor. And I have at least two honors. I like to come in at the three level now. I don't mess around. I'm not coming in low levels to let them tell each other a story. So the bidding would go one no trump by east, three diamonds by me. Now how does this hand bid stamen? I want you all to tell me. How do they bid stamen? That becomes only one way. It's a gamble. They have to bid four diamonds. It's Maybe that's a transfer to hearts. They've never discussed it. Or they would double. Maybe that's a transfer to hearts. They don't know what three diamonds could be. And that's why everybody that plays bridge, the majority of the people, all play conventions, all at the two level, and they have an easy time. I don't want that. I prefer to bid at the three level. I'm in and I'm out and that's it. If I get doubled, I get doubled, but I don't often get doubled and I'm very happy. That's up to you, everybody. But when I have a six card minor, I just bid at the three level, but it guarantees at least two honors. Any what questions? About major? Huh? What about, what about a major? Oh, the majors is another story. Okay. Kappa Lady says two clubs is a six card suit, any six card suit. So it could be minors, it could be majors. And that's the system they want you to use. I don't use that system, but it's entirely up to you. I like to use two clubs for the majors. I love two clubs for the majors. I have many reasons why. You open a no trump and partner bids two clubs, it's the majors. They open a no trump. You bid two clubs, it's the majors. And why I like it is that partner doesn't have to guess which is my five card major. If partner's got three, three in the majors or three, two, he bids two diamonds. And that says to my partner, you choose the five card suit. Why? Because a 5-2 plays much better than a 4-3. But you can't do it, everybody. So forget about what I said tonight. Okay? I like I it. I have a question. Yes. If you had, if East had opened one no trump and mm. South had been two diamonds, could you double or would that be wrong? Is it only with two clubs that you can double? Well, that's the problem. What is two di If you don't have any agreement that two diamonds is natural, okay, I play three diamonds as stamen. I play three diamonds as stamen. Some people play that the double of two diamonds, I have a transfer to hearts. So I play the Cuban of the overcalled suit except for two clubs, is always stamen. I teach it when I teach stamen. 
the Cuban of the overcourt suit is stamen. People play stolen bits. If you double two diamonds, it may be a transfer to hearts. So it's always better to play stamen by cubiting the overcourt suit. If they overcourt two hearts, which is natural, three hearts says I've got four spades. If they overcourt two spades and you put three spades, I've got four hearts. The cubit of the overcourt suit is stamen. But do you need 10 points to do it then at that level? You need eight, nine points at Even, least. Uh, eight or nine. Well, normally you would need eight or nine, but um, the fact that you're now going to push your partner ultimately to three notes. Exactly. Down. You're going to be pushing your partner to game. You should have 10. Yeah. Okay. Especially if you have to get to the three level. That's a good question. So, yeah. so that's what happens. I mean, this is a very easy hand to make for hearts. It's not a problem. You don't have club losers. They're going to most probably leave the king of diamonds, which is standard. And you're only going to lose one diamond trick, one spade, one uh, spade trick, and this, and your hearts are maybe one heart trick. It all depends how you play the hand. But it's very important that we get in over no trump. We are not letting people play over one no trump so easily. It's very important to get in there, and that's why I think this is a bidder's game. And the more you bid, the better it is. You'll be far better off bidding more than not bidding at all. Yes, there's Linda asking a question. Debbie, did I answer your question? I don't hear you because you muted, Debbie. Uh, no, my question goes back to what a basic convention card is very briefly. So, uh, I mean, I know what it is, but when I go to play at duplicate matches um, at my club, does that mean I can't use the two diamond? Is it not allowed? I mean, we're, we're I'm not playing just with, Are you I mean, this basic well? convention card is that, that's if I'm using a basic convention card, if my convention card is filled out to show this bid, then I can use it. Is that correct? Correct. Okay, so I just have to note it on my convention card. Correct. You just note it on your it. convention it's, card. It's, it's legal as long as I list it on my convention card. As long as it's on your convention card, people put on anything they want to play, but it's written on the convention card. Anyone can pick it up and look at it. Just but don't at a level tournament. of bridge, we don't want to get too complicated. That's okay, okay but I play duplicates, so I need to know how to how to use it. Well, that's what you method. do. You put it on your Thank convention you. card. Thank Good. you. Okay, Linda. You had to alert it. I thought you had to alert it. It's alertable, okay. Debbie. Yep. Everything's alertable what you have agreed with your partner. Linda, what is it, love? Yes. Um. Who does the alerting when you're using capital Not you. You can't tell your partner what you're doing. So your partner has to alert. If you're playing online, you self-alert. But if you're playing face-to-face... Okay. -face, That's what confused me. We had to do it ourselves online. Then you have to alert your own bid. Online, you have to alert your own bid. But then when you're playing in a tournament, your partner alerts what you bid. If you're playing face-to-face, -face, yes. Okay. That's all my question was. No problem. Any other uh questions? No. Okay. Well, um, I've finished all the three hands. If there are any other hands you'd like to discuss with me, you're welcome. Before we finish. Any other Linda, questions? I'm gonna... Thank you. Linda, thank you. Could you discuss Mequel versus Capoletti? Could I discuss what? Mequel versus Capoletti. I don't play Mequel. Mequel shows this or that and this or that. Let me explain why I don't want to play these systems. Because Mequel shows you the whole purpose of why, and I'm, I've got to give you my reasoning. It's really important. But that's my choice. When you play Mequel, you're giving the opponent space to describe their hand. I don't like it. It's either a one suitor or it's a majors or a minor major or a majors or whatever it is. 
I don't play those systems. Because the minute you bid at the low level, they've got space to describe their hands. I don't believe in that. I believe in, in not giving them space. So that's why I like to bid at the three level in a minor with a six card suit. I like to bid two hearts to show hearts in a minor. I like to bid two spades to show spades in a minor. I like to know at the first opportunity before their people come in what I couldn't tell them. That this is my hand. Mequel is this or that. And I don't like those systems. So she that is entirely up to you. So you're basically playing a modified Capaletti where, for the six card minors. Is I like right? to get it to three level and done. Make it hard for them. I'll tell you a real true story. It's a true story. I'm playing with a lady of 88 years old. She's my student. And we're sitting against two people with over 10,000 master points. And I said to her, if you have a six card club suit, please bid it at the three level. It's got to have two honors. And on the very first hand, the lady with 10,000 open one no trump and my 88 year old lady bid three clubs. The hand on my right, the other lady with 10, over 10,000, but four clubs. The lady on my left thought it was Gerber. The other lady on my right said it was Stamen. So the lady on my left bid four spades and it went pass, 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 and then the roof fell in. They had such miscommunication, they missed four hearts, and they had the biggest fight. Why? <laughs> because everybody that is so conveniently uh, allowed to tell each other a story when you come in at the two level. But if you come in at the three level, no one's discussed. What do we do with the three level, everybody? Are we doing this? Are we doing that? It makes it much harder. And this old lady was in her element. I made her day. So you must just know. So you have to make a decision what you like to play. That is entirely up to you. I play Woolsey, Kit Woolsey. I think it's wonderful, but that's my style. And you can do it later on in your bridge career, but that's what I play. Debbie's asking another question. Yes, Debbie. Yes, I want to make sure I got this clear. So if you have six card suit in a minor with two honors, you're yeah. going to obviously bid the three. I got that part. If if you have six cards in a major, are you using two clubs to say you have a long suit? What if you don't have a minor to go with it? You're not going to use... Okay, let me tell you what I play. Yeah. Two clubs is always the majors. Okay, it's a six always. card major. It's a six card major. Always the majors. Majors, two. Two, okay. Whether you open a no trump, whether you overcall. I want uniformity in the game. How many do you have to have I in each of those? Five, four, five, five, five. Four. Okay. But I use two diamonds for a six card major. Ah, that's what I want to know. That's what I two do. Two diamonds means I have one of them. You bid the lower one and I'll you correct it. You need relay to. with two hearts. If my Got suits it. hearts, I'll pass or I'll bid two spades. That's and what that I, I found wonderful. But okay. Now it all works. We, we're not doing it for this group. Okay. I've okay. got a question. Yes. Where, where can we watch the replay of this? How do we know how to get to it? Lynn, can you tell them how they do it, love? Yeah, I'll put it in the chat. Thank you. Okay, are there anybody else? Any other questions? I'm sure you've got lots of questions. I'm looking at the chat here. There's a hell of a lot going on here. Any other questions? Yeah. My question... My question is, what Lynn put up in the chat is the opposite, and the two clubs is what you think we should play? Uh, it's my choice. You asked me my opinion. I gave you my opinion. I didn't have no, to. No, no, I'm not arguing. I'm trying to figure out how to, how to explain it on my card. It depends you call, what you do. Do you call yours Cafaletti? But they don't want to hear that word. When people ask you what you play, you've got to actually tell them. Because some people don't know what Capaletti means. Okay. So, you have to actually tell them. You've got to tell them what it is. But the, but the complicated thing Linda just went through, 
in the last 10 minutes is not Capaletti. It's Linda's system. The Capaletti is printed up farther. Uh, okay, that was- No, but it's not my system, Lynn. It's Woolsey, Kit Woolsey. Yeah. Oh, okay. So what, what Lynn put up in the chat is what some people play. And the thing you're recommending is what you just said, which is different. Two clubs different. shows two, two majors and two diamonds shows a six card minor. Major, and major, major. But how do you spell that, Woolsey? No, it's in the two... chat. Oh, it's in the chat? Okay. It's in the chat. It's Kit okay. Woolsey. So two diamonds is a six card major? Right. Okay. Thank you. Two hearts is hearts in a minor like Capaletti, and two spades is spades in a minor like Capaletti. Exactly the same. Okay. Oh. But the first two are reversed. Okay. Exactly. Thank you. They're just reversed. And I like it because. Yeah. I like to keep uniformity. Two clubs is always majors, whether you whether your o partner opens a no trump or whether oh, you open a no I see. Because and that's why you're, I do it. Okay, because it's statement. Okay, got it. Thank you. Are there more questions? Yes. Let's go over it tomorrow evening or something. <laughs> What's that? Okay. Jennifer? I'm listening. More questions. I can see your hands are up. Any more questions? Yes, this is Linda. Yes. Do you use any signals or carding with your partner? I play standard. Standard. I have a preference, but it's standard. I have a mark preference. But I don't think you need to know about the others. I think we should all play standard for the moment. What is standard? High on the opening lead attitude. High, I like it. Okay. Low, I don't like it. Okay. In the middle of the play, you lead a low card. You like it. High, I don't like it. It's all a matter of between you and your partner. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? None? Okay. I do. I have a question. One question. Yes. So I I will open in the third seat with 11 points, but I'm starting to wonder if I should not be opening a club in the third seat when I'm light, because I feel like it gets, it allows the opponents to come in and find a fit in something at a lower level. What do you think? Well, this is completely not in line with what we discussed. I this know, evening. but I figure I just pick your brain before I get off. <laughs> I would never stop. <laughs> no, just so when I open in third answer. seat, if I open in third seat, it's got to be lead directing if I'm not really a full opener. I like to open a four card major, king, queen, 10 to four, king, queen, jack to four, ace, king, jack to four. I like to get the lead. I open for a lead. I don't care if it's not five. Okay. So in the third in hand, I'm not opening a club to let them tell each other a story. I like to open preferably for a lead when you do not have a full opening hand. Oh, okay. Okay. You right, got the you. question. Okay. Any other questions related to tonight? I don't like to break away from the topic. Anything else? No. That, okay. That link Many that thanks. I just posted. Many thanks, link. Linda. Oh, Guys, that you. link that I just posted goes directly to replaying these hands. Keep that link. Keep that link, everybody. Okay? okay. All right. I want to thank you all for coming. I hope you all had a good time this evening. And um, an experiment. It's great fun. I mean, that's what makes Bridge such fun. That nobody plays the same, right? No one plays the same. We all play different things at different times. So it's just all a matter of style. Okay. I want to thank you all for coming, everybody, and I hope you had a good time. Many, many thanks, Linda. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. What a great night. <laughs> that was terrific.